action. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hello. Um, apologies if the quality isn't as good as usual. Um, there is our dog. We had some technical issues with the camera again. Um, nothing bad this time. We just forgot to charge both of the batteries that we had, and now we can't find the charger. So you know, filmed on the computer today. So here we go. Um, I don't have loads this week, but I've got some very exciting things. So you ready, right? Really big bit of exciting news, aren't we? Yes, yes, we do. Two, I would say. Yeah, it's, it's not news, the second one, but but the first one's like our oh, big thing that we've not done before. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. So should we just get straight into it with the whips? Yeah, just dive right in. Which one would you like me to pass first? Because uh, I'm should gonna... we go in this order. Yes, that means I'm going to find that one. Oh, well, just pass me whatever It's in the tote bag. I remember it's in the tote bag. We had a pre-filming discussion about the tote bag, and it's it's currently what it's in. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Oh, with your other bit of news. I'll take that off for now. You didn't see anything, if you can see this. If you can see anything. Is that tangled? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I tried to, like, finger comb it. No, it's, it's my own fault. So... Can you move this bloody egg custard tart? <laughs> it's all up in the business. <laughs> Uh, here is Mini Fairy on a Butterfly. <coughs> um, Sorry. I had previously... There's a little different stitch that I was doing to test out the fabric. Here's my previous... I'm trying to work out... Here we go. The previous attempt at stitching. Um, Are we lower? It was going okay, but I was a little bit bored with it. And I'd also tried out so many different types of stitching on it that I was just like, everything looks a bit discombobulated. So I started again. <laughs> and basically, how many stitches did I get done in one day the other day? It was over 2, 000, a thousand. I yeah, I think it was about 2,000. Your tablet is down, I think that's your tablet and not mine. So you can have a stitch count if you need it. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I might get that in a minute. But here is Mini Fairy and a Butterfly. I have cropped the design, first of all, so there's about like this much more on this side, but to be honest, it was only gonna be like a bit of the butterfly wing and- I think a little bit of fairy wing and maybe a flower. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, for the sake of getting it done, I don't mind missing that out. I can always go back in and add it again later as well. So I tried something a bit different for this one. Um, This is on 32 count fabric, I believe. And it's done with, one strand uh half cross so the coverage is actually pretty good um in my opinion anyway Shadow close up of it i quite like it you can try the camera is kind of going a little bit funky with the i can't see it's kind of like everything's covered in porridge from where i am yeah no that's fine um but i'm trying out the i think it's called royal rose um r-o-w-s not rose like the flower um so basically it's this like You'll, you'll learn later in this video, I've spent a lot of time on the Heaven and Earth Design Facebook group this week and in there I could see people talking about like, oh I've done this with Royal Rose and I was like, I've never heard of that before. And I mean like I spend a lot of time on floss tube, literally if I'm doing anything there is floss tube on in the background just to listen to. This was another 3am. So, find wasn't it it was another 3 a.m find this was like the time when i was like ordering shelf life and i woke up and i was like how should i stitch it at this like three like, in the morning you be asleep ryan wake up there's a new method for stitching yeah i'm gonna try it <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> so uh basically with the royal rose method what I gather, I may be completely off, but this is what I, sorry, this is what I think it does, and this is how I've been working it, and it has done clearly very well for me. Um, you work in like, so you know the 10 by 10 blocks, you do one block across and two blocks down, and you work parking for that entire row, so the entire two block row, so you go basically 20 down by 10, and you work downwards so you go like that and then when you are done with your floss in this row column column i think it's a column you park your floss underneath which is what all these are when you start or finish a floss you park it to the right i had to think about what direction that was then so you shouldn't get lines behind your stitching like you can get when you're doing rows or 
like diagonals or columns or whatever um because you're putting the floss both ways you're parking downwards but you're starting and finishing to the side so i don't see any lines on mine so far but i also haven't done loads i think i've done a couple of thousand total um but yeah i'm really happy with this i'm really happy with how it's turning out um yeah i like this one a lot basically that's my uh that's my first whip it's a heaven and earth design pattern if if anyone wants to purchase it's it's very beautiful i'm doing it for my nan what's next on the list i've got it down here so next up i have it next to me is the big one will it fit on camera probably not gonna have a drink uh this is one of the world map you already know who am i kidding uh so Where i loved kidding? that method so much I started it on this one as well, sorry, I don't want to take oh, you out. No, don't worry. I'll fold because I don't have anything this week. So I started up here doing that. I don't think it's going to work as well on this one just because the threads are a lot bulkier and there's a lot more confetti and it's such a huge piece that I don't really want to go all the way along and then come back and go all the way along. Like, I'd rather... I'm trying it out up here for now and seeing how it goes and I'm going to probably get to about the other side of this needle miner before I decide. Um... I don't know if I love it for this piece, but I love it for the other piece, definitely. Um, I don't think I've done loads on this this week. Um, filled in the compass a bit. I'm not sure if I had done that for last week and basically just worked up here, but that's all I have on that one this week, pretty much. Oh, and I'm also not sure if last week I'd showed you, I've done the line all the way down the side. Not all the way down, I stopped there. It's about a third of the way, I think. Maybe not even a third of the way, you know. Yeah, it's it's going line. down. <laughs> I have no idea if I showed you that last week, but there we go. That's all I have to say about that one. I've not put as much work on it as I should this week. Um, I really love working on this piece and I will work on it again, but I've been working on some other pieces. I made some real good progress. So, you know, I'm not too bothered about this one. If it doesn't get all the focus it needs, that just means another piece will. So I don't mind. It's a good way of looking at things. It is, isn't it? I'll give you that one to pack back up while you'll make uh, a find the next. Yep. It is. Oh, I can get that one easy enough. Um, so this method, I know you're going to hear me going on about this for a little while because I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I decided, oh, do you know what piece this might be good for? Any guesses while we get it out? Dun, dun, dun. I'll show them off. It's copywritten. Gonna do it, but ta da! Resume holding. Uh, so this piece is shelf life Does for that those. Look okay? Yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, I started this on twenty eight count, and I'm restarting it. I have restarted it. Sorry, on thirty two count. Uh, this is one like strand of floss doing half crosses again. Um. Apart from the black, I've been doing two strands on the black and I don't know whether to continue it because there's a little bit here in the black where it's only one strand and it kind of blends in with the piece a bit better but I don't think it looks as black, like standouty, poppy black as it should. So, you know, I'm doing two strands for now. I might change my mind at some point. But I started doing the Royal Rose on this one as well. I only started last night and I got all of this piece done here. It was only about 500 stitches, but you know, it's still 500 it's an stitches. I, I was said to ride the way that the Royal Rose works was like, I couldn't tell what I was stitching while I was stitching it. And then afterwards I was like, oh, that's a face. There's a face there. So that was very exciting. I'll do a little close up. There we go. I think I'm on like 0.8% on this one at the minute. Uh, I'm not sure of my stitch count, but there's good progress being made on this. I think this one, I'm gonna really try with the Royal Rose because it. I don't know what, what about it means that I can stitch faster, but I just have been, so I don't know. But there we go. What do you think about it? The method or this just this piece shelf life. I really like it and I like what you were saying about the two strand because I know you asked me about it yesterday mm -hmm. and I think it really like adds that needed definition to the, the pieces where there's a lot going on. Yeah. It'll be quite easy to get lost but the black breaks it up really nicely in my opinion. This is a Gecko Rouge chat by the way and so is Wonderful World Map just in case you haven't seen them before. Um, 
I really like this little guy down here. They There's like little pinky purpley guys. They appear all over Colin Thompson's work. So that's my first one. And I can't wait to see how many more are in this piece. But yeah. I might focus on this one next week instead of Wonderful World Map because I'd really like to see some huge progress made on this. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. You've got time to pick, haven't you? I do. I certainly do. My phone keeps locking and it's got our list of like what we're talking about today on it. Um, we're trying to keep it a little bit more like short, like concise, I would say, rather than like waffling a lot or having to do a load of editing just because of the amount of work we have on and everything this week. Just peep what's next on the list and it's your long dog sampler. It is. I'm glad I got that name right. Uh, this nope. is I'm my not... long dog sampler. You have to excuse me, I'm not used to... The camera being as mirrored as it is, I was isn't usually like this. It's um this is done on I want to say it's forty six count linen. Um, I'm doing it one strand half cross again. That just seems to be my go to at the minute. I'm not sure why. Um, this week I have done the top of these like wheels here. These leaves over here, this cat down here, and the llama up here. And yeah, I basically did the llama. He hasn't got, he's only got one leg at the minute. It's like a party <laughs> costume and like the other guys run off. <laughs> he's, he's looking good. Um, I only started this, I, I picked it back up again uh, on Saturday and worked on it on Saturday. I don't think I've done any work any other day. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with this. I really like it. Um, I may go back in at some point and like cross it all the other way, like do the other leg of the cross. But at the minute, I really like how it looks with just one. So, you know, I'm happy carrying on. I think I'm on about 6% with this, maybe six and a half. Um, yeah, sorry, if I'm looking over here, it's because I can see what we're filming and it's that way. You know, I'm looking at the piece in there. I thought you were looking at my little finger. <laughs> no, I, I like that. I like it a lot. Um, I'm I'm doing it with, I think I want to say it's like Guterman floss. Yes, um, it is. Here we go. I don't know the exact code, but I'm sure we can find it. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely Guterman floss. And it's just I, I really like the way the purple looks against this. It's like a stony color, I would say. It looks a little bit more gray on there. In person, it looks a little bit more like neutral yeah. colored. But I really like it. Sad oatmeal. Well, I wouldn't describe it as sad, but. You do you. Do you want to get the next one? Less adventurous oatmeal. Is this the final one on the list? This is my last whip for this week. I've been last like... Last whip of the week. Oh, wow. If anyone knows what that's from, I would be very impressed. Do you I'm know what that is? Yeah, I, I know yeah. what it is. I'm trying to remember what the other ones they did not were. Yeah, not right now. Yeah, not right now, obviously. <laughs> oh, there's, I've got my needle sticking in this one. Yeah, that's where it... Uh, Got stuck with the tablet because it magnetized. <laughs> right, to bring all this downstairs and he was having problems. Um, Here is my Fab 50th Sal. I've done barely anything. Uh, I think we just got character eight and I think there's 35 in total. So, you know, I'm really behind. I've only done one and a half, you know. I have a lot to go and I've not even done the boxes or everything like that, so. But to be fair, that's because we lost the sulky for a little while. I did. I'd lost my blue sulky, which is what I'm using to do the outline of these boxes. And I was like, oh, I don't want to stitch on it if I don't have the right floss. Because if I don't have the right floss and the next one's like over here or something, I think one of the next ones is here, actually. Mm. I was like, I don't want to get so far and then have to stop. I'd rather just not stitch on it. And then when I get the floss, stitch on it. So... But we found it. It's all good. We found it in the most <laughs> obvious place as well. So I think we have a spook and it's been playing a game. I've already thought that for a long time. Poltergeist. Um, yeah, I'm happy with it. You know, there's some good characters coming out. I haven't stitched them yet, but they're really good. Uh, this is uh, Abby Sue Designs on Etsy is where I bought the PDFs. They get emailed each week and they come up in the Facebook group. But you can't join the Facebook group unless you, you bought it. Yourself. So me and Rai every week have a little contest of like, which character do you think is coming out? Because there's two a week. Yeah. Um, and some of them have like two characters per box. So they're based on the um, Fab 50th statues. statues, which we saw quite a lot of them when we were over in America. I took your picture next to Winnie the Pooh. You did. Um, so the ones where there's two of them together, they come up as two in a box on here. 
So it's we're, we're kind of getting good at guessing. I don't think we've guessed any yet. But... You guessed Joe Gardner. There we go. And I think you guessed Edna, didn't you? No. Or did you not? I thought you did. You could have taken credit for that then. I could have lied about that, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I really like how it's turned out. I... I will be totally honest, I made a mistake in BB-8's head. His head is not meant to be that long, like tall. He's he's an extra stitch. He reads a lot of books. Tall, but he's all good. I like him. You couldn't tell until I said anything, I don't think. So wow. I'm loving it. I really love this That was piece. my droid noise. It was really good. It was not. But thank you. Put that down so we can see your face again. Oh, good lord. So... For those of you in our Facebook group, you will have seen I put on a post that was like, is it having nuts on sale, guys? There's a sale going on. Um, and despite being in a no-spend summer... It was like a, a day money. sale. You had to buy it. It was a 24-hour, or like till midnight, uh, 50% off sale. And there's one piece that I've been wanting for ages, right? And then there was another piece that I bought. Technically, you bought. Technically, you bought me my piece, and I bought the one for your family. Mm. But regardless, That's um, neither here nor there, really, isn't it? I'll I'll pull them up now. So uh, I'll do this one first. This is. I'm just gonna move out the way a little bit. This is Mini Gone Fishing by Donna Gelsinger. Um, we just bought the mini version because, you know, it's quicker to stitch and it looks pretty much the same obviously there are some differences but i'd be happy with that i like how the foreground looks really hd yeah like look at that pine cone in the yeah, bottom that line. is nice um Banging. we do you want to say what we bought this for i'm not sure if your family i'm gonna say watch this i think sometimes well in the advent of maybe sometimes we'll play it loose and say fishing a theme a hobby to be fair People enjoy it yeah that but... also looks like the bass pro bass it does. We don't have it with us. Raya's a Bass Pro hat that has there. like that fish on it. Um, I'm the jumper, I think. Yeah, I think so. High um, fashion. Yeah, this is going to be a present for someone. Obviously, it won't be done this Christmas. I think it would be pushing it maybe for next Christmas, but maybe we'll see. And it can't be last Christmas because I already gave them my hat. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, yeah, we, we bought that. Um, I like it very, very much. And then the second one... Oh, I just completely covered my head. Right, Which way I'll am go. I going? So, <laughs> this piece hold on, I'm falling. is Happy Campers. Come on. I can't remember who... Sorry, Rai. No, it was me. I hit my arm off the radio. We're, like, getting knocked about here. Let me see. Can I... There we go. Oh. Um, I'm going to move my seat forward. It's probably making really annoying noises. I just got really <laughs> <Right>. HD. <laughs> anyway, um... I can't remember who the designer is, but this is Happy Campers, and I love it. My grandparents used to have, like, a caravan, so we used to go to caravan holidays with them. They'd go, like, pitch it up and get everything attached, and my grandpa would barbecue, so there's, like... A the, barbecue the, and bear. Yeah, there's a barbecue and bear. Who's I just your favourite on there? Mm, I'm going to make it bigger so you all can see what I'm talking about. I quite like the little otter with the fish. I'm quite partial to toilet paper raccoon with toilet bear. <laughs> that's kind of like our dynamic. It is. It is. Um, yeah. Usually because someone doesn't refill the toilet paper. That's... No. Slander. Anyway, um, I really love this piece. Um, and I didn't buy this in the mini because with this one there was quite a difference between the mini and the like normal sized one. So I just went for the normal like happy campers Go and I love detail, it. I'd say. With this one with the little animals, I couldn't not have them in it so well, they're all doing stuff aren't they so like you'd need the extra detail because they're all quite low i really like <laughs> it though um and with them being 50 percent off you know you have to don't you that's it what are we doing now the little so thingies? um as i was saying right i've spent a lot of time in the heaven and earth designs facebook group this week um i don't know if i wasn't in it before was that the needle that was on it? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Oh, I've tarnished that needle. I must have been stitching too much and gotten very warm. Tarnished is just <laughs> such a dramatic word for it. Well, I don't want to no, but I describe mean, like, it another way. No, but tarnished, it's like... Yeah. Um, it's a curse if something's tarnished. It is. 
It is. Um, so basically, I've spent a lot of time in the Heaven Earth Science group, as I said. Um, I think I only recently joined it. Like, they've just been coming up on my Facebook feed more recently. So I was on there, and I saw a lot of people talking about CXC floss. And I was like, I've not heard of this before. So I did a bit of investigating. I spent a lot of time reading in the group. You put your detective hat on. I did. I said, uh, Detective Jess in the Heaven Earth Design chat chat group detective jess in the house uh, i went on a bit of a secret mission i didn't at all i just searched in the top like cxc and found that it's basically a floss company and they have no i don't think it's a company i think it's just like a brand and they have floss and all their numbers match to the dmc numbers but they're a lot cheaper so i was like i would like to buy DMC for cheaper than I can access it. As you know, if you watch this channel for a while, uh, America, when I was over there, I well, was don't get a start on amazed with the price of floss. Um, but yeah, I, it's it's quite expensive over here to buy DMC. So I was like, a lot of my patterns call for that, uh, call for DMC. And especially having earth designs, like when you've got a big piece, it calls for a lot of the colours yeah. and it's quite expensive. And... The way I tend to work is I'll kind of buy one DMC skein and use it across several projects until I run out and I'll buy another one. Um, so if I was ever to get a whole DMC collection, I'd just get one of each and then as they run out, I'd top them back up rather than storing like multiple. Um, so I basically found out about this CXC floss and I was like, I'm going to see if I can have a look and find it anywhere. Cause in that group, I don't know if it's just because it's like a heaven and earth design group, so you're not meant to promote anyone else, but they're quite like, not secretive about how to get it, because people always, if you ask, they message you, but mm. basically I'd worked out where to get it from and I found it on Etsy. And while I was doing some searching, before I show you what else I bought, me and Rai got these little needle minders. No, nope, I cannot be seen on camera. So Rai got a Muppet Show one and I got a Labyrinth one. They're very strong, you probably heard me like, clicking them together just now it's like, like oids if you remember oids yeah i love oids they're very strong and they work really well and i'm a fan of these i think they used to be like enamel pins based I'd, on the back I'd, yeah yeah actually because they've got like the little rivets on mm -hmm. i think these be enamel pins that have been made into yeah, needle miners sort of see that. so the light's not catching it very happy with them and then piece de resistance the goliath we now own one of every, I'm going to call them one of every CXC, but it matches with the DMC colours. I'm trying to get every angle because every angle is like a different psychedelic they, trip. I, like, let me open this bag a sec. They come with a list as well. You'll just see my name there. There's nothing, there's like no address or anything. Um, They come with a list so you can check off and make sure you have every single one. That is a um, long day of floss admin. It is. I'll be honest, I've not gone through them yet just because I'm waiting to get the storage because I want to put these in little bags each because the way these come, they only have one tag on them, <laughs> not two like DMC. So they like, I don't want this to slide off and for me to lose mm. which one it is forever. So basically, oh, this tag seems to be a little bit stuck. 500 sandwich bags is what you asked for the other day yeah i'm because floss away bags are really great but they're like they're not expensive but to buy 417 i want to say those mm. like it's going to be expensive so, so what i'm going to do is buy just sandwich bags i don't want to pull this too much i think a part of this has got stuck when it's like in the gluing process yeah so i'm going to put that back in there so i don't rip it um i'm going to buy sandwich bags and just store them in my own way i'll show you when i do it it'll be next week um but yeah this is like huge this whole massive bag and it's absolutely jam-packed um they kind like of a pillow. it is a bit like a pillow they're kind of in order going down so like these are like the lowest numbers and then these are like 38 59 and 38 62 and stuff like that on top so you can kind of there we go so you can kind of guess where your color is if you're going to keep them in this bag but personally i'm not going to i think that seems like a bit of a faff to try and work it out um so yeah i ordered these and they came in like two days that was really fast it you was... weren't expecting it were you? no i i got the notification say i ordered them on the monday at like midnight i got the notification on the tuesday saying that they'd been shipped uh in like the afternoon as well mm. and then 
they arrived on like the Wednesday. Very quick. It was crazy. And I was expecting something else. So I went to the door and I was like, oh, that's my book. It was not it the was book. Not. It was, he came back in with this huge parcel and I was like, oh, this is very exciting. I don't want to say more exciting because the book's also exciting. I just realised I forgot the book. I'll have to talk about that next week. Yeah, I'm not going upstairs. Because you've got a, another book similar, haven't you? So you mm-hmm. could show them both. Mm-hmm. Um, book showcase. But yeah, I've used, <coughs> actually, in... I'll just grab this. Yeah. I used some of them in this. Uh, so I know exactly where they are. Um, just so I'm going to point them out with this. These Very blues teacher. here are the, are the same as these blues here. These ones here, like the, the very like electric-y kind of blue. These are DMC. There's a very electric blue over here. I think it might be that one. That's CXC. I can't, I can't see the difference. I think for what I'm going to use them for, they're going to be perfect and it's going to save me a lot of money. So I'm not saying I will never buy DMC again and I'm going to stick to CXC. I'm not saying that, but I'm excited to try them out. And I think with Happy Campers, I already have the fabric and I already have well, the CXC now. So I think I may have a new start coming up. I've, I've got a couple that I really what want to start. Like we got one for like a wedding gift, a, a Heaven and Earth design. Someone bought this one for a wedding gift that I really want to start that one. But I want to start that one on a fabric that isn't one I already have because I actually bought 32 count fabric. I bought enough of it to restart World Map, um, but I didn't restart it. And now if you've seen how big World Map is, it's like nearly 2 million <laughs> stitches. So, you know, you need a huge piece of fabric for it. So I just have this huge bit of... 32 count fabric sat around waiting but it's got the grids on it so for the one that we got as a wedding gift it's got like a very pale background and I don't want to do a whole design on a gridded fabric just in case it doesn't wash out so I'm going to find some different fabric to do for that piece but I will talk about that maybe next week because I have found some very good fabric this week. Yeah, yeah. I've been adding a load of stuff to my uh, eBay basket. Your eBay basket is here. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for payday. I'm very excited. You know, it's it's exciting. It's exciting it's when you get new exciting. floss pro- project, new floss. Anything to do with stitching, you break. Floss. Yeah, basically. Um. So yeah, and then I think we have one more bit of news. Do you I want think, to go I ahead? Think it's the big, I think you should say because you found it. So. <clears throat> I'll be driving us there so you can experience all the stitching imaginable. We are going to the Floss Friends UK retreat. Um, I posted. Yeah, at the end, yeah I did. <laughs> I'm not talking again. You can carry oh, on now. On. No, you go. No, go on. We, um, I'd found it. I'd seen some people posting about it and I was like, hmm, I wonder what this is about. I'd left it for a couple of days and then it came up again and I was like, hmm, because there's a fabric group that I'm in on Facebook that posted about how some of their products were going to be there. And I was like, ooh, that's interesting. interesting. So I like found the Facebook group about the, pay- about the page, about the retreat. And I was like, okay, let me find out some more information, sent them a message. And after I sent them a message, I put it on my story and I was like, is anyone going to this? Uh, and I think I put it in our Facebook group as well. I was like, is anyone going to this? Um, I waited a little bit. I got a response from the person who organized it and they were basically telling me like the start times and everything and the dates and kind of what is going to be happening there and the pricing and everything. And my mom was like, well, I don't mind because she was going to send us for like a night away somewhere for like, we got married. She wants to send us like for a night away at, like, to, like to a hotel um so we were like oh okay because she was like well i don't mind sending you to this instead of you going to a hotel and i was like cool so we are going thanks to my mother we still actually need to book the hotel like to sleep there because yeah. it's not ages away but it's far enough away that we're gonna need to stay the night yeah it's like so a good two hour drive i think isn't it we have the full weekend ticket um i think there was like four still available so if you're interested there are a couple couple spots available still. Um, maybe. It was maybe. A couple days ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. But it's very exciting. It looks amazing. It's in 
October, I think it's the 8th and 9th. It's like a weekend event. It is because it's a couple of days after I get my stomach tattooed. That's how I'm remembering it. Um, there's going to be a small exchange. So like you stitch something small. Um, I think the theme's autumn. Or like you can do something Halloween-y as well. Oh, I could take my... um. Who put the bill in my bill? The theme for the smalls exchange is autumn. And then the the kind of, not task, but what we've been told to bring for, to stitch on is the piece we're most proud of. Mm. Uh, not necessarily to stitch on. I think it's like whether to it's showcase. finish. Yeah, basically to showcase it is the piece you're most proud of. And I said to Rai, oh, this is going to be a difficult one because we'd already agreed we're going in Rai's mini so that I can stitch in the car on the way there. Mm. Um... And my proudest piece is my world map. That's so, right, you can go in the back seat. We'll take I'll out the spread out the in child, the back. Take out the child seat, passenger seat all the way forward. You'll mm-hmm. be fine. You can have like a little workshop studio back there. That'd be good. I it's gonna be a lot to take it down there with all the all the floss and everything. Because I'm also probably gonna take another project because the world map gets quite tiring to work on sometimes, depending on where you are in the piece. So we'll see. We'll I figure something out for you. Yeah, I'd like to take it, but oh, tell them the best part about it for you though. Three cups of tea. Three cups of tea. Unlimited, Unlimited tea. It's very exciting. Um, it won't even say you should be all jittery. Keep I know. Running out for ways in there. It's it's actually really exciting because we go on holiday. Uh, not like abroad or anything. We just go on like a little UK holiday. Staycation. In September, like mid to end September, and then we're back for a couple of weeks, and we get to go to this. Yeah. So it'll be very exciting. Um, so yeah, if you're going, let me know. I know a couple of people are going, but like you might not have seen my post. So feel free to comment down below. Yeah, you've not done much work this week on your whips, have you? No, but my excuse, as poor as it is, I've really suffered with hair fever. Oh yeah, you like, have. My eyes have been dis- like This is the nicest they've been. Mm-hmm. They've been absolutely disgusting. They were like... I not disgusting, like... but no, he's but, just like, not been well. They went like that red. Mm-hmm. that's how bad it was and so now like that's, that's had me out of commission for a little bit and bells hasn't been very well um i'm not gonna go too much into it but rye's taking her to the doctors in the morning to see what's up mm. um so it's it's a busy old week in in that sense i've got a lot going on with work um i'm hoping to hear back for an interview as well so it's all happening it is all happening yeah what are you guys working on this week? I I think I asked that last week, and I, I do get comments, and I, I love seeing what people are working on and stuff, mm. so it's very exciting. Um, and thank you to everyone who commented last week about the parking bobbins. Yes, that's what I meant. I didn't write that down. I knew there was something else. I can say I knew you We you had said so many comments, like, literally, like, the entire video was just comments, 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 comments. My phone was blown up with comments, and then I was getting sent messages on Instagram, and I think we were getting comments like on Facebook, like in our group and stuff. And I was like, whoa, it just, it was like overwhelming. overwhelming, but like in a really good way. So I know exactly what they're called now. They're called Bobbies. Or there was an alternative that was off brand that I can't remember the name of. But if you go on last week's video, the, in the comments. it's in the comments. Um, The little to wrap your floss around mm. on your piece. That's what that is. Um, So... Yeah, I'm going to order some tomorrow, so I'm very excited. Um, I think they're going to be a huge help with me parking so much now on my pieces. I'm just looking at all my pieces out and and about. Um, So, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for commenting that. That was really appreciated. Um, And, yeah. Yeah, I think. Oh, Oh. one more question. Um, If you've made it to the end of the video, first of all, thank you. I feel like this turned out to be a lot longer. It's half an hour, it's showing us, and we only planned for, like, maybe 10 15 minutes so like thank you yeah once you get on what you get on what yeah I, I just keep talking don't i um <laughs> if you made it this far say columbia there we the go comments. um but what i was gonna say is i put on my story on instagram the other day but i know not everyone here follows me over there cross stitch and smiles if you want to go follow me um i was asking if we did like an exchange would you want to take part so if we organized not necessarily like next month or the month after even like we'd need a little bit of time to organize it and everything but would you take part in like we pair up people from all over the world or not even necessarily pair them up but like one person to one person and they get someone else and basically everyone has someone that they're stitching for and they're also going to receive 
something <coughs> stitched. Does that make sense? A little swapsy do. Yeah, it's a swap basically. Um, but there would be like a theme and like, like you don't want to stitch anything too big, so we'll have like a limit on size and everything like that. Is but that then something? You've also got to think about shipping it to other people. Exactly. Well, so size limit in order. If it if we're shipping it overseas, especially, it's going to be a bit tough. So it may be a case of pairing people up in their countries, but we'll see. Um, is that something you're interested in? If so, let me know in the comments and I will get organising it. Also, we are planning on doing a very big month in October. Alongside the retreat. Alongside the retreat. The retreat will be part of it. But the main point of the whole month of October is going to be something else. Very, very big. So please look out for upcoming videos because I am going to need people to get involved. You know, it's it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. But you're going to need to get involved. So keep Let's an eye out for future videos. <laughs> you don't have to talk to each other. You just have to talk to me. So it's all right. Wow. Um, that was a look. That was like a proper mum look, that. That was like a, <laughs> you're getting in so much trouble. You're not in trouble, one. but that wasn't a very nice thing to say. Um, Basically, we've got some very exciting things upcoming. And if you're not subscribed, I would suggest subscribing just so you don't miss anything because i'm really excited about it you're really excited about, really it. excited about it i've told a couple of other people they seem excited about it so give this video a thumbs up if you made it to the end i'm interested to see who actually makes it this far because we have long videos mm. and if i watch lost tube i tend to go for the really long videos but I have one in the background. short well, videos instead. yeah short videos hold my attention a little bit better like if I have the longer videos on, I tend to be doing other things as well, mm. so I have to keep rewinding. But if you made it to the end, hi, thank well, you. Or you just watch it like 18 times. Yeah, I do. I watch the same like five plus two videos on repeat, like if I'm doing stuff just for background yeah, noise. You'll be watching something, then I'll hear the same thing like three times over the course of it. I'm like, are you watching that video again? Yep. <laughs> you did that the other day, actually. <laughs> I did it this morning. Mm. And if you're still here also, sorry, I'm just giving you all the instructions at the end of the video today. Comment some FlossTube channels down below that you really like. Personally, at the minute, I'm very into... Stitching at the Cabin. Stitching at the Cabin. Um, they are on holiday at the minute, though, I think. So I don't think there's going to be a video this week. Um, so if you go subscribe to them, don't expect to see something like in your, in your subscriptions box this week, necessarily. Mm. But they are amazing. I love them. So go check them out. I'll leave them linked down below. And Michelle Bendy Stitchy. And because I've heard Priscilla and Chelsea in my room so much i'm going to say the real housewives cross stitch yes i think i checked because i called them the wrong name last week they are just called priscilla and chelsea on youtube i thought they were called um stitching with the housewives they're not apparently but there you go i love those three channels i do watch more channels than that but this week that's who's that's been on repeat in the house rotation. so yeah comment some down below i want to find new people definitely yeah. and yeah thank you guys very much for watching uh, if you bought anything in the Heaven Earth Design sale, let me know. Uh, there's been some new Gecko Rouge charts come out today that I, I'm very interested in, actually. Yeah, but so you're on a no spend spree. I'm on a no broken. spend spree. I get my Gecko voucher in October. I just have to wait. Oh my gosh, I can order it. It is. I, I, oh, that's exciting. That is exciting. I don't have to fan you. Deep breaths, deep breaths. <laughs> There's going to be a lot going on in October, so... It's going to be a busy old month. It is. And it's Halloween. I have to get a costume ready. Oh, we should film in costumes one week. Oh, I'm down for that. I can't do a scary costume like I did last year. No, though. no. My la my scary last minute costume. Yeah, that is... I don't like Rise costumes. We've not been together for many Halloweens. We've been together for four. How many this costumes have I done, though? I think you always go scary one. for me, though. I wore a gas mask and a hoodie. Mm -hmm. I don't like gas masks. They're scary. Anyway. Anyway, off topic. Anyway, thank you guys, and we'll thank see you. you next week. Bye! Bye! <laughs>